Well, guys, in this video, I'm going to let you know how to record uh, vocals in Adobe Audition 1.5. Well, that's just a tool. Many people ask, many new newcomers and amateurs, you know, they change their DAWs like Digital Audio Workstation from Adobe Audition to Cubase to Logic to Cakewalk Sonar to Nuendo Pro Tools. They think that changing DAW will change their way of mixing, mastering, or recording anything but that's untrue these things these are just tools you can't can't change the way you record by changing the tools remember that learn to use the tool and you will definitely blow away any tool with enhanced way of recording technique okay let me tell you how to record vocals okay I have connected my microphone uh, Shure SM58 with the Behringer Pre UB2442FX. So now I'm going to record through that chain into the DAW. Well, I do have a good sound cut out board like um, it's uh, Delta Series. So uh, I'm just letting you know my, you know, my, my system, my hardware that I'm using with the system. So you may not get into Delima that suppose you are using a built-in sound card in your computer then it's not going to record as good as those who have stu professional sound cards in studio and chains from microphone to preamp so I'm gonna just let you know that I have a very simple setup right here so let's start recording in Adobe Audition 1.5 okay low first of all get to the file menu say click new here we have uh, three things that we we should consider and we should, you know, focus into it to record in digital system to let our audio, like analog audio, pass into digital system and save it with the best, best quality that we need to use in our production for commercials, for anything, for music or whatever you have. If you need good quality and large file, if you need bad quality, then you're going to face lower file. So. It depends on you what you want what you want to do so let me tell you give you an example like here we have sample rate so in sample rate what is sample rate you might have heard frequencies from 20 Hertz to 20 to uh, 20,000 kilohertz so what happens like human range from 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz is a limit but amateurs and adults like us I would say amateurs, I can say adults like us, they just listen maximum due to, you know, sound pollution and a lot of, you know, doing work in sound and busiest world and noise and stuff like that. Their limit is limited, maximum limited. It, it's to 16 kilohertz. It means 16,000 hertz or 16,000 cycles. So uh, it was just an analog side. So in digital samples, when audio from 20 to 20 kilohertz enters into the uh, digital domain, it samples the same bandwidth into multiply by 2, creating 44,100. So that's a digital. I'm not going to get deep into the theory but I'm just gonna let you know a little bit of learning stuff so you can get into the recording stuff okay that's 44 click 44 one one of uh, one zero zero it's a CD quality sample rate then click mono remember if you I would say I would suggest not record vocals especially vocals in stereo the thing is there will be no change but the file will become large with the same quality with the lowest file in the mono so get into 16 bit well if you do have a sound card uh, you know it's, it supports 24 bit then you can get into 20, 32 bit so I will say my sound card does support 16 bit and I will record it to 16 bit and then press OK OK now I'm gonna press press record button well, guys, you're listening to Rock Black Station 24 7 live from Heart of the Globe. That's Kiss FM. Okay, I have recorded vocals. Remember, here we have regions that white lines on top and below. Okay, and here we have a dB's pattern that lets us know where our audio peaks realize. So we have our audio peak on minus 6 dB. Remember, remember to record vocals under one, minus 3 dB so but not minus 12 okay 
Remember to record vocals on much, much level, but lower in dBFS means decibel in full scales. Okay, so I have recorded the vocals. I'm gonna trim it and control right click and say trim. It's trimmed now. So my vocal is just recorded as raw. It's dry. It's called a dry vocal. Remember, there are two types of, you can say, files when you record. There's dry and wet. When you record, there's no effect, there's nothing else, it's just voice, it's called dry voice. When you put a little bit echo or reverb or flanger or chorus or phasers, any effect, it will become wet. So we call in audio industry, we call it wet. Okay, so we got it here and uh, so now what we need to do is, uh, well, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Just It was just to let you know how to record vocals on a per perfect way in a W Edition 1.5 or any tool. Just learn the tool and you will become familiar with all tools in audio industry.